Hi Labs, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning back to my channel. I'm really excited and I always say this like every video I make but I am really excited about finally being able to share with you all my review and lip swatches of course of the Kylie Jenner lip kits. I know these have been out for a while and real talk I don't remember when I ordered these but I actually was able to get them when they first launched and I know a lot of you asked me to do a video on them but I didn't want to do a video right off the bat because I didn't think it was fair for me to make a video and then be like, oh, by the way, these are all sold out and I don't know when she's going to restock. So I wanted to wait a little bit. And of course, she had to let us know like days before the launch that she was adding three new shades. Long story short, I do have all six shades for you all and I will be doing swatches. I will be doing a comprehensive review, I guess you can say. But real talk, like I said, I have no idea how I got them because when they first came around, if it wasn't for me checking my spam, box I would not have ever known that I got them unless you know I waited two weeks so without further ado if you are interested in my review on the Kylie Jenner lip kits then keep on watching first and foremost I guess I have to apologize and y'all know I can get really really chatty that's not the reason why I'm apologizing actually I'm apologizing because by the time this video is up they're probably going to be sold out again because the way Kylie has been, you know, updating her Instagram on Kylie Cosmetics Instagram, which you should be following if you aren't already, she has been like saying the week isn't over, it's coming back very, very soon, and so I'm thinking she's going to drop it today, Sunday. Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day by the way, if you're watching this on Valentine's Day, lots of hearts from me to you. So... Yeah, I do apologize about that. I originally wanted to upload the video, I mean, record the video yesterday, but it just, it wasn't happening. I had to work, you know, excuses. So I am doing this today, but also if you follow Kylie, then you should already know that she's trying her best. Her team is trying her best to get these like out and about. They're working seven days a week. Also, if you live near Oxnard, California, Kylie herself said y'all should go help her out at the warehouse. So all that Kylie. First of all, let me talk about the shipping because first time around it was pretty ridiculous. But I gotta say, Kylie has definitely stepped it up a whole notch and I am really proud of her. Like, sh I don't know her, but <laughs> I am proud of her as a consumer because let me, let me, let me show you all. This is a box and I'm sure you've seen videos on YouTube. This is the box that the original three came in. So you guys should have already seen these all over the world right now inside it just had the three lip kits it didn't have any packing slip or whatever and i'm just like really kylie how you gonna play me like this like this is the freaking box my things again there's no like mailer or any like bubble nothing it was just this i was like what that's a little disappointed but then i thought to myself you know it's her first time she didn't know what how everything was gonna work out so okay i get, i cut her some slack now this time around, she should have definitely known those things sold out real quick. So, you know, I was I was expecting it to be a little better. I expected shipping to be better because that took two weeks to get to me. And I thought I paid like, what, five bucks for shipping? Like, come on, at least send it through priority mail. But it is what it is. I did get them, though. I am very impressed. Like I said, she definitely took it up a notch. So props to you, girl. So this is what they come in. I'm sure you've all seen it. I love the box love 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 it says kylie kyliecosmetics.com and it comes with you know the three that i ordered and also comes with this and it comes with a little note i mean i know kylie didn't handwrite all of these right she just made a copy of all for all the orders but you know it's the little things that count as a consumer so i really really appreciate this kylie thank you girl you watching i know it did come with the packing slip i threw it on the ground somewhere but yeah it did come with bubble wrap as well we're promoting kyliecosmetics.com today <laughs> anyways so let's get on with the lip swatches the one i have tried them all out the one that i am currently wearing is coco k apologize about my hair but if it looks like i just woke up with this hair it's because i did i woke up like this <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so moving on to the lip swatches. This one is Coco K. And as you can tell, it's definitely a lighter pink. To be completely honest, I thought, I don't think this is going to work out for me. I don't think it's going to look that great. I'm not into colors that look like they're washing me out. But this one I was really surprised by. I actually really like how it looks on the lips. So it's a definitely a lighter pink, but it's not like a washout pink. So I really do like it. So this is what it looks like. This beautiful red color is called Mary Jo K. 
And this is what it looks like on the lips. A true bold red color for all my red lipstick fanatics. You definitely need this one. It's so gorgeous. I can't. It's just so beautiful. I love, 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 love. And the third new shade here is Posey K. And this is how it looks like on the lips. I can't. I just can't. This lipstick is just everything. I love this color. I love the shade. Moving on to the three original shades. This one is called True Brown K. This is how it looks like on my lips. I know it looks really, really cray cray. But this one is just so deep in color it's just beautiful it's hard to describe but it's just such a gorgeous color i've never seen anything like it so i actually really like this color so this is true brown k this one is called dolce k dolce k was definitely one of the ones that i just reached for the most i'm not sure how well you can see but this is this looks like it's been loved very well and it has been great everyday neutral color i love it it's just so easy i love it and of course the one that started it all the one with all the rage candy k candy k is definitely the one that i reached for the most when it comes to the original three that i've had for a while now and compared to dolce k if you're wondering what you know they look pretty similar but i feel like candy k and this is the reason why i personally chose it to wear it so often is this one has a slight pink undertone so I feel like it gives me that pop of color that I need and I feel like Dolce has a little bit more of a brown undertone but it's still a very flattering neutral I think anyone would rock it but I personally is the one that I've been using the most it's definitely really nice for everyday anything you can definitely rock this one So as you can see by the swatches, some of them look really patchy, dry looking, but like I always say, always wear lip balm. After a few hours, I think, I'm surprised Mary Jo K doesn't look like that, but after a few hours, this one especially looks really like that. So just an FYI, be sure to prep your lips before putting on any lipstick. Those were the lip swatches and the swatches on my arm. I really hope you all found them informational. For color reference, I am an NC40, so I am a bit on the tanner side. And the one that I am currently rocking is Posey K. I try to mention this in every one of my review videos in which I express my opinion, but it's just that this review is solely based on my opinion, my experience with the lip kits. Kylie is not paying me or sponsoring me. She did not send these for me, but if you want to, Kylie, hit me up definitely take some off your hands no i'm kidding no not really just keep this in mind you might not agree the other youtuber might not agree everyone might agree i don't know it just it is what it is and i gotta you know always keep it real with you all these are priced at 29 dollars. you get the lip pencil and also the matching liquid lipstick which i know some of you were really iffy on the price but let's be real it's Kylie Jenner like as much as y'all don't think like she's all that like girl is working it so for $29 I thought it was a great set price I really like that that she didn't go like $50 I be real some of you some of us would have bought it even if it was $50 but I love that Kylie just kept it real and was like you know what I'm just starting out this is just a great price to start and I think for a liquid lipstick and the matching lip liner you can't really beat 29 dollars the colors that she picked and that she chose really great like she did her homework girl kylie you did your homework because believe me you all know if you watch my videos i have a lot of lipsticks liquid lipsticks i'm all about that lipstick life i tried my best to see if there were any colors that were dupes i thought mary jo k i could definitely find a dupe for i couldn't I really tried my hardest to find colors that i had that were similar it was difficult to find colors that were there was no colors first of all there was no colors that were exactly the same so seriously she did her homework guys she didn't just come out hey i like this color let's put it out so i really really like that pro and somewhat of a con these dry really really quick real talk if you blink they're dried so that's a good thing because hey you don't want to be waiting all of the liquid lipsticks that i've tried none of them dry as fast as the these dry so fast and it's not necessarily a bad thing unless you you know like overfill and then that, sh that ain't cute so you gotta go back but 
I don't, I, I really like it. I don't know. I just, these dry really quick. Love that these lip kits, if I haven't stressed this enough, love that they come with a matching lip pencil. Y'all know us, when we found out that Kylie's go-to lip pencil was Whirl from MAC, we all rushed to the counter, we all rushed to the store, and it was sold out for weeks, sold out online, so we know Kylie loves her lip pencils. I don't know how I feel about these. These are very, very soft, and that's great. They go on like butter, like you wouldn't believe. But because they go on really, really softly, they're prone to breaking really, really fast. I put this on my lip, and it broke, like really, it broke i mean you can get color out of it like not trying to be dramatic but it broke just saying i know you can sharpen it not being a drama queen but they're too soft you know it gets really complicated when you're trying to make the formula because you want it to be soft enough so anyone can just glide them on their lips but also you don't want to make them too soft because they break so i don't know but We'll see if she can work on that. I have to be very, very careful while using them because seriously, they can just break on you. Like, you'll be like, what? I actually saw earlier on someone's Instagram that she reviewed one of the shades and she said these were really, really difficult to take off. Like, I really had a tug at it. But for me, since I've had them, I, that was not the case. That has definitely not been the case, even with these new ones when I was doing the lip swatches. These are definitely not as difficult to take off as other liquid lipsticks, which is great. But these also don't last as long as other liquid lipsticks. I'm not going to sit here and say these last like two hours and you're done. No. But if you're planning on going through your whole day like eating, drinking, what have you, these probably aren't going to last if you just put them on once and then bounce. For me, these definitely do not last all day. But I'm okay with it. I don't have a problem with it. I would rather it not stay on all day than to have to tug at my lips for an outrageous amount of time when I'm trying to take off my makeup. That's just something I'm okay with. So you might be different. I think it was on Thursday when I first got them. I was so excited about this one that I just wanted to try it out and it looked beautiful. I love the color. But I remember later that night I was drinking hot chocolate. And of course, I don't expect it to last really hot chocolate, so I thought it would have been, like, gone. But but when I came back upstairs and was taking off my makeup, I realized that it had turned really crumbly, like, dry and gross. And I just kept rubbing at it, and more and more color came off, so that ain't cute. And that's the only time that I've ever had that experience, so just an FYI, if you like to drink coffee in the morning... Maybe drink your coffee first and then put on the liquid lipstick because it's not a cute look. I find this one to be very, very delicate if that makes any sense. Maybe because it is such a bold red color that you can see everything. Like real talk, you do something and it's just... Ultimately, despite the cons, I really, really do love these lip kits and Posey K in particular, I just really, really love. Like I said, I feel like Mary Jo K needs a little bit of tweaking, but it's definitely a unique red. I tried to look for dupes. I tried looking at the Milani ones. I tried to even look for the MAC one and it there was just no color that was on point with this one. So I love the color. Like I said, if you are obsessed with red lipstick, definitely check this one out. I just feel like she needs to work a little bit more on this formula because I want to love it and I want to wear this every day. But I don't know, just the whole crumbly thing. I know there's a whole bunch of posts on Instagram about these and there's a whole bunch of review videos now on YouTube about these. But I really do have to recommend these. I'm not just saying that, like I said, Kylie, she's not sponsoring me. She didn't send these. I paid for them. I really do like them. I, I really think the price point is great for the lip pencil and also the liquid lipstick. I love it. And I love that Kylie is just on top of it. She obviously she's not going to respond to every single customer, but I love that she, you know, always keeps on updating and it's just supply and demand. There's a lot more demand than there is supply. So I guess just be patient. Definitely check on her Instagram to when she updates, but they're worth it. They are worth it. Okay. You're getting it from me. I definitely recommend these. So props to Kylie. If you are going to be like, oh my gosh, you didn't show any dupes. That's because, like I said, it was very difficult for me to find colors that were somewhat similar to the Kylie Jenner lip kits. But the two colors that I do have are from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and these are 20 bucks a pop, so I would just wait, like real talk. And these are usually out of stock. One is Dusty Rose, and I found this one's a little bit similar to Candy K. 
And this one is Veronica, which is similar to Dolce K. So I would, and these stink, like real talk. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention these smell bomb.com. These smell like sweet and oh, they smell so good. So I really, really love that. I love that these smell good because trust me, some of my prior experiences haven't been that great. If you are looking to get something right now that's close to Posey K and you can't wait any longer for Kylie to restock, I definitely have to recommend Milani's Fling, which I have been obsessed over as well. I don't know, I'm really into the purples right now. This one I feel is just a smidge different. Really, really great. And if you want to see more swatches, definitely go check out that video. I will link it down below. Other than that, lovelies, I wish I could sit here and say, oh my gosh, I found all these dupes. You don't have to go get these, but you really do need to go get these. <laughs> Anyways, loves, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up for me if you enjoyed it. I would really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to, of course, subscribe if you haven't already for more makeup reviews and swatches and all that jazz. Hope you all have a great day. Young, happy Valentine's Day loves from me to you. I love you all so much. Look, no stain. I love you guys. See y'all next time. Bye. Say hi. Say hi. Wait, the ultimate test, right? It doesn't come off. Look at that. <laughs> Thanks, Kylie. I can kiss my bib. Love you. All right, let's take you out.